What's up, YouTube? John was busy buying cars, so he sent me to Connecticut in the middle of winter to go dig a car out from a customer's barn that we found an extremely rare Countach. I say that because we always buy extremely rare Countaches. But we're teaming up with Larry from Ammo, and Larry's going to help us get the car out of the garage, and we're going to take it over to his shop, and then he's going to detail it within an inch of its life. So look for a cross-promoted video between the two of us, and I can't wait to see what this car looks like, and I hope that Albert and I don't freeze. All right, so we managed to stop and grab Larry and kind of went over the game plan of what we're gonna do. The transporter is on its way to come meet us at the house. Uh, we talked to the owner, and everybody is extremely excited about coming to see it. Uh, you can see from the background, we are no longer in Florida anymore. It's uh, extremely beautiful. Larry's taking us on the scenic route to this guy's house. Uh, but it's, uh, this is gonna be an interesting day. I get to, uh, I get to finally play John for a day and uh, dig a car out of a barn and get to hear the story from the customers. So hopefully everybody enjoys it. What do you know about the car? So the car that we're going to pick up from the story that I was told is that this is an extremely rare uh, 5000S, uh, red, black interior, no wing. Uh, the owner's got a whole story, which I won't ruin too much because I'm sure he's going to want to tell all of you guys the whole story about it, but it's a, it's a very rare car, probably less than 20 of these in the U.S., and um, it was actually came in as a European car, and not only are we picking up the car, but apparently this guy's been hoarding brand new Lamborghini parts for years in hopes of doing a conversion on the fuel injection system and doing some other upgrades. I know he bought a wing to put on the car. So we're not only gonna tackle the car, but we're gonna have to catalog and box and, and clean up all of these parts this guy has that he's giving us, which should be kind of fun as well. So the car was a European car and originally came carbureted, but because the carbureted cars wouldn't pass any of the DOT's EPA standards at that point, it was some sort of a homegrown fuel injection system that none of us quite know exactly where it came from or how it was put into the car is on the car currently. So the owner has sourced factory intakes and carburetors and all the parts needed to convert the car to as it left the factory new. So that's part of the, the hoarding of the parts that we're going to have is to be able to properly restore this car back to the way that it was when it left the factory in 1984. Oh, Ragnar, he's fine. Don't worry, I'll get you. Yeah, it's fine. We all have dogs, so. I'm Vinny. Vinny, I'm Tony. Nice to meet you, sir. Larry. 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 Okay. Albert. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to finally okay. meet you. Hi, Dana. Yeah. No, they won't no talk we're not. We're not going to talk about So, well, first off, Honestly, curated. nobody cares about that. In the no. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I won't touch it, I promise. What are you doing? Yes, yes. I believe that was the salesman. That's the owner. That that's the salesman. That's, I, you pointed at him yeah. as I swore yeah. tonight. We both said the same time. Pictures, because I look at this stuff like look at the the, the, the Mazda being in the background with the with the KC lights. Yeah, no, one point looking yeah. like gangster shorts. You're, yeah. Yeah. you're oh, appropriate, yeah. I take it. Uh -huh. <laughs> the thing about it is, we bought a one way ticket. So if I didn't like the car, yeah. We were hitchhiking home. <laughs> this, now, now you're in my world. I like yeah, that. Okay, there we go. There go. And these are people that I met along the way and coming home. Larry, you're going to you're gonna have to duplicate that exact shot <laughs> <laughs> with, with, you, with, with a bucket and a sponge. Uh, exactly. oh God, you guys took the engine out yourself? Oh, yeah. yeah. Did right. you really? I did. I did. It's not I mean, easy. I mean, we do it at the shop all the time, so I know what that, that entails to go through, so I've got a ton, oh, of, a ton of respect yeah. to be able to have Yeah, I've done do it that. twice. Yeah. I've done it twice. <laughs> Clutches. Yep. And not burning them up. It's the throwout bearing yep. that kept breaking on them. Yep. And there's a picture of it there. It's the service man. It's like, the parts diagram. This is the parts yeah, diagram, parts which I'm sure he has. I didn't have a, uh, I don't believe I had a service no. manual for it. But I definitely want to get, if you, or whatever you have of that yeah. stuff, it yeah. would, be, you want, would be amazing. Yeah. If you're going to, she took pictures of it. If you'd okay. rather scan yeah. it, we were unsure she was, if these pictures are going to come out of here. Unless you want to take I it. would be careful just because... No, 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 I would not. No, no, no. Oh, you're going to scan the whole thing? I'm going to scan the whole thing, thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so gotcha. Then what I may do is, um, I may, I'm sure there's a FedEx around here somewhere. I, I, let's take this with us to the place. I mean, obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to keep this, but I will. I'll, no, I'm sure. Maybe yeah. when Larry's doing some of his B-roll. Dude, there's been so much trust I, I in this whole, this whole process. process. Yeah. There's been so much trust that I'm really not all that worried <laughs> here, okay? <laughs> 
So we are at the uh, client's house, um, and he was telling us a little bit of the backstory of how he ended up with the car, and showed us all the paperwork of him when he bought the car, and owning the car, and washing the car. Um, and I know that one of the reasons that, that we all love doing this is the story behind it, and this is a really, really neat story uh, about how this guy acquired the car. And unfortunately, the car's been sitting for the last 20 years, so we're in the process now of uh, taking it off of the wheels that he had set on there and putting some air in the tires for the first time, and we have a transporter coming to get the car now, but picking through all of his parts and hearing the stories and seeing what this car's been through over the last uh, 40 years has is, is, is been really, really amazing. All right, so in terms of condition, obviously I've done a bunch of these things, and it's single-stage paint. So the challenge is gonna be just tons and tons of stuff coming off, but there's not a lot of paint there. So that's kind of where you have to be a little bit careful, especially on the, especially on the edges. But overall, for a car that's been sitting for 20 years, uh, I think it looks pretty good. But once we get it back underneath the lights, I'll be able to take a full sort of diagnosis of it. But I think we're gonna have a lot of fun.